Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are doing good. Uh, before we start, just wanted to say it's been a minute, and I uh, hope you guys are doing good, staying out of trouble, and everything's going all right for you. While you're watching this video, go ahead and drop some comments below. Let me know what you guys have been up to. I've been reefing the, the whole time that I've been gone, but I kind of fell into a rhythm of being lazy. Uh, before I knew it, one week passed, another week, and here we are today where I haven't put any videos out, but I'm back at it. Like I said, the entire time I've been reefing, and I just haven't been documenting things. Um, in this order, I placed it with uh, Bulk Reef Supply, uh, which I never would have thought would take over You know, the aquarium uh, industry. I would order between you know, all the other shops, but, you know, they, things have happened, they took over, you know, good for them, which I'm also interested in your guys' thoughts and opinions of, you know, BRS taking over everything. Um, I guess that's just the way things go. You got to be on the up and up, and if you have the uh, money, why not? So part of me wanting to go ahead and change my plumbing is because things were, you know, I did things uh, kind of ghetto fab. And what I mean by that is I would typically buy, you know, the white PVC that you can get at your home uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, or wherever you, you would get it from. But I would get it white, and then I would spray paint it. So this time I wanted to go ahead and get some heavy-duty bulkheads. I wanted to do everything real nice because I got a new return pump. I got it brand used from a fellow reefer here in uh, the 915 and he gave me a great deal on it so I wanted to go ahead and uh, change up my my existing plumbing and change out that return pump. I ended up going with the purple PVC one inch uh, because I like doing the one inch drains and uh, I think it's gonna look slick. Um, right here I did have to get an adapter um, that will be in so that I can screw in because um, they didn't have any slips. I wanted to the schedule 80 to be slip and slip where you don't have to screw in anything but unfortunately they had the slip for the one inch drain and then you had to buy this adapter to fit on your one inch pipe which I thought kind of sucked but it does look good. The last time I decided to add some different uh, bulkheads and everything I got it from my buddy Tim and that went pretty good when I did that um, I glued a lot of stuff so I wasn't able to reuse it this time I got some husky PVC pipe cutters these things are awesome uh, a lot of times I would just use a jigsaw or I had some like handheld ones that you had to use friction to cut and these things are sweet I ended up buying two of them and uh, I like these things. The Husky brand is great. Um, I also bought some PVC cement. It's just clear. Um, you can buy the purple stuff, but you know what? If you just use PVC cement, you're going to be f just fine. Yep, here's the new pump, the Vectra M2 from Ecotech. It's pretty sweet, and the price that I got it was even sweeter. Uh, I got this pump right here from a uh, that reefer here in El Paso, and I picked it up for 150. Uh, it's wireless. Um, it can do the Mobius and everything, but the only thing that sucked was I had to get this adapter um, because uh, for the plumbing, um, and that thing was like 20 bucks, like 10 bucks, and then like another 10 bucks for the shipping. So. I'm not going to lie, that part sucked, but small sacrifice, I think this is going to be great. And it, it has a small footprint for my tank, which I'm really, really looking forward to. Let me show you what I'm currently using on my tank. This is a Aquamax. It was the biggest uh, return pump that you can get from Aquamax. Great, great little pump, and it still works. But you can kind of see where I was red. Then I cut things and, you know, it just didn't look as nice as I would like it to look. And it's okay. It was totally functional. But you can also see where I just have the white uh, plumbing fitting, that 90. Uh, this was also leaking a little bit. You know, it's a mess. 
So I reused whatever I could do. And now that I'm a little bit settled in, I'm going to go ahead and change things. Um, that leaky bulkhead on the left, uh, which is why I wanted to go with the heavier, heavy duty bulkheads. And I'm also going to clean out that, uh, that drain back there. Uh, on my tank, I run the one inch drain and then I run the middle pipe is the emergency uh, drain. And then on the right pipe, it is the uh, return pump, which feeds a dual, dual return. But there it is. Uh, it's not pretty. And this is real life. It does uh, leak. And you can see all the salt creep behind her. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and change this baby out. First thing I did was, of course, I cut the power to it and I unplugged my auto top off. Like I said, I got these PVC cutters and it just made things a heck of a lot easier. You can see you just click it, use a little bit more and then boom, that PVC is done. Uh, before I had the friction one where you have to clamp it and then move it back and forth until you cut through the pipe. And this thing took care of the PVC uh, without any problems at all. So it was really, really nice. This is kind of a big job. If you need some help, for sure, go get some help. I was doing this in the morning and uh, all by myself. What I did have, I had a bunch of towels and I had a bunch of five gallon um, buckets laying around because I knew I was going to make a mess. And what I'm doing is I just disconnected my return pump and I also took down the emergency drain. I'm going to try to take down the uh, bulkheads. And then I'm going to let everything drain into the tank. Another thing I had to do was remove my lock line. And so that way I can go ahead and get into the back and uh, clean it up real good. Because it was a mess. Most of your overflows are going to be dirty, full of bubble algae and all kinds of uh, junk. So that's what I'm doing. I'm taking down the lock line that I have for my SEA tank and getting everything ready so it can be nice and clean and then my bulkheads can have a nice clean seal um, on the tank without any sediment and things like that. I'll show you here what I'm talking about here in a minute. The important thing is if you're doing something like this for you to just take your time, right? Have a plan, have your cleaning cleaning supplies and myself, my tank is pretty tall, so I had a ladder. Um, this thing is a mess when you're doing it. Just take your time. Keep the water away from any electronics or any plugs. Believe me, you don't want to have any kind of danger, anything like that, with salt water getting into your electronics, making a bigger mess than what you already are going to be doing. So just take your time. If you start getting frustrated, take a break, walk away from it. You know, it's not going to be easy. Uh, some of this stuff is on there. It has salt creep. It's been there for years. And here you are going to try to think, take stuff away from it and mess around with your uh, running tank. You're not going to need your protein skimmer running. Uh, you're going to be just fine without your heater. And uh, you're not going to need your return pump uh, to provide your, your fish with oxygen and water flow on your corals so take your time you know just have a plan and just start uh, working it little by little I also recommend that you wear gloves because you're going to have a lot of crap inside of your overflow and things are going to be growing on the uh, plumbing as you can see I knew that I had enough uh, room in my uh, sump for for the overflow for the water to just be draining out and uh there it is, it, you know, once you get your main drain and you take it out, everything's going to be okay. Um, as, and also, just have lots of towels and, and uh, buckets around. And if you have a shop vac, highly recommend you have one of those so you can get back there and uh, clean out whatever junk that you want to do. The great thing about a shop vac is it can run dry. You can use it as a regular vacuum cleaner if you take out the bag. It can actually suck up water. Um, if you don't think you're going to have enough room in your sump and you're doing a project like this, go ahead and remove some of that um, water in your sump into some five gallon buckets or a brute container with the rolling wheels. And that way you, you won't have to second guess yourself. 
but you can see this is my overflow is dirty and what I'm trying to do is taking out the seals I cleaned it all out so that way the rubber gasket could get in there but check this out when I ordered this I did not expect to have any problems the thread on these bulkheads um, do not fit and as you can see uh, I I got some one inches regular slip and uh, I'm gonna be using these bulkheads instead so I'm glad that I ordered you know two different kind of bulkheads otherwise I would have been SOL and hoping and praying that uh, my LFS or somebody in the reefing community around me would have some as you can see it looks good I, I didn't make a mess everything went pretty smooth and uh, I think the purple plumbing looks great if you're gonna do a project like this a quick pro tip go ahead and get yourselves lots of paper towels I'm talking about at least a roll and the paper towels that I, I recommend are the blue um, shop the blue shop towels are great they're super absorbent they're tough and they held up really good but I did use about a roll I also use you know towels so that way everything would stay dry and in case I did make a mess and everything went good I ended up getting this gate valve right here you, you can really really adjust it I had it the way I want and traditionally I would just use a ball valve ball valves work great too but you really don't want to use it uh, too much I just got the gate valve so I can tune it and I could have my tank totally totally quiet I really like how everything turned out I did my return plumbing straight up like this because I may add an algae turf scrubber later on uh, gives me lots of room to work with and I like how everything came out man so let me know what you guys think if you guys are still in the reefing game or not and you're just checking out the video say what's up and you guys have a good one thanks for watching you guys take care and don't forget to subscribe